FC Barcelona Regal, one of the most decorated and talented professional basketball teams in Europe. That's who the Mavs will be playing this afternoon. And we thank you for joining us for Mavericks preseason basketball on NBA TV and on KTXA 21 with Derek Harper. I'm Mark Folliwell. Harp, we were excited to see what these new look Mavs would appear to put on the floor and, and what they would have in that preseason opener against Alba Berlin on Saturday. They won 89-84, and the focus was on a lot of the new faces. Chris Kamen and Darren Collison were two of the new faces we were watching closely. They share the team leading scoring with 14 points apiece. Let's first talk about Kamen, who in addition to his 14 points, 12 of those came in the second half. He had six boards and two blocks. Well, and what was a pretty sloppy game. I thought Chris Kamen clearly was one of the bright spots for the Dallas Mavericks. We know he can do that, face the basket, knock down outside shots. Here you see him again, catch and shoot situation, can do that. Here you see him putting the ball on the floor, really nifty around the basket the Mavericks can use that kind of performance from a big guy so hopefully that continues for the Mavericks this guy Darren Collison was equally as good I thought in, in the game against Berlin did a solid job of running the team finding open people had nine assists and really played solid basketball for this Maverick team we know he can do this stand up knock down the outside shot from the outside underrated from an offensive standpoint as far as I'm concerned here you see him getting out in transition and that's some of the stuff that we're going to have to get accustomed to seeing this Maverick team on the fly with Collison finding a way to finish in transition. You saw the numbers for Collison of his 14 points. Ten were in the first half. He had nine assists, something that he did only five times last year. We'll give you more of the news coming in from Barcelona, including the fact that Dirk will be sitting out today as the Mavericks get ready to play FC Barcelona. It's Mavericks preseason basketball. The lineups and the tip-off are coming up next. As you see, the head coach is Rick Carlisle for Dallas and Xavier Pasqual, 40 years old, in his fifth year as the head coach of FC Barcelona. You see them shaking hands. Harp, clearly, uh, you are definitely going to err on the side of caution when it comes to dealing with Dirk, especially in the second preseason game, just 10 days after opening training camp. Well, after all, Mark, he's your franchise. Dirk Nowitzki is. He's a guy that you don't have to worry about when you start talking about preseason. You know he's going to be ready. He's in a lot better condition this year than he was on the strip than he was from the shortened season last year. So I expect Dirk to be ready. I think the Mavericks are doing the right thing and being a little bit cautious with him. There's Sean Marion so, addressing the crowd. Let's have some fun tonight. Here goes your man, Juan Carlos Navarro. What I need, what I need. Muchas gracias por haber vingado aquí al Palo San Jordi y donarnos el vuestro support. Para nosotros es un orgullo que hoy nos acompañeu y farem todo el posible para que para ganar una otra copa, un equipo NBA. Vale. Muchas gracias. Una abrazada. Sean Marion and Juan gracias, Carlos Navarro Luis. both addressing the crowd at Palau San Jordi. Juan Carlos Navarro, of course, is in his 15th year with FC Barcelona. He did have one year over in the NBA 2007-2008. He played with Memphis and was an all-rookie second-team selection, averaging 11 points a game. But is back in Barcelona and has been now for several years and is uh, part of one of the most decorated teams in Europe when it comes to pro basketball. They've won the EuroLeague twice recently, 2003 and 2010. They have 17 Spanish League championships, including three out of the last four years. There are several names that folks who are familiar with NBA basketball will recognize in addition of Juan Carlos Navarro. Uh, you've got Nathan Chawai, who had a brief period of time, not in the regular season game, but with the Mavericks. Uh, also, Serena's Yasikavishis is with FC Barcelona now and uh, other players that have been drafted by NBA teams but have not played in the NBA. Arazam Lorbeck, who spent a brief amount of time a season in Michigan State. Uh, Pete Michael, uh, who played at the University of Cincinnati, was drafted by Dallas back in 2000, but has played mostly overseas in his professional career. And Ante Tomic from Croatia, uh, draft pick of the Utah Jazz back in 2008. So this is a talented team, and FC Barcelona should give the Mavericks a good test. As a matter of fact, they've beaten the last two NBA teams that they've played in preseason games on their home floor, the Lakers two years ago and the 76ers back in 2006. It'll be a good test for, for, for the Mavericks. It's a preseason game, of course, Mark, and you're looking at a lot of different lineups if you're Rick Carlisle and his staff. But you know, with Dirk being out, with Roddy being out, I look for this team to really try and uh, make the Mavericks feel what they're all about over in Barcelona. 89-84 again was the win for the Mavericks over Alba Berlin on Saturday afternoon. In that game, 14 points for Chris Kamen and Darren Collison. Also 14 points off the bench for Vince Carter. Darren Collison, as we noted earlier, had nine assists. 
played well. Yes, yes. They only had five games last year of nine or more assists. Had three double doubles last season. To have that sort of assist performance in 35 minutes was quite impressive on Saturday. I like what he, he brought to the table. He did a good job of running the team. Didn't try and do too much. And I think that's one of the things that a young point guard like Collison being in a new situation has to be cautious of is not trying to do too much. Found a lot of open people at the nine assists that you talked about and was really efficient scoring the basketball as well. The starting lineup today for FC Barcelona. That's, let's cover that very quickly. It looks like it will be uh, from Brazil. Marcelinho at point guard in the backcourt joining him will be Joe Inglis from Australia, number 20. Pete Michael at small forward, number 25. Arazam Lorbeck, uh, Pete Michael is number 33, beg your pardon. Arazam Lorbeck, number 25 at the four spot. And Ante Tomic, 7-2 from Croatia. He's in the middle at center, number 44 for FC Barcelona. So we are underway with preseason basketball for the Mavericks on NBA TV and TXA 21. The hook shot attempted by Chris Kamen is missed. Got him pretty deep that time, Mark. I look with Dirk being out for the Mavericks to really go to Chris a lot early in this game. Seven out of nine was the shooting performance for Chris came into the preseason opener against Alba Berlin on Saturday. Marcelinho passed up the shot. Lorbeck missed out of the corner. Double dribble. Sean Marion got caught. Well, we noted earlier, early in the game that is on Saturday, that a lot of turnovers are to be expected when you're meshing new faces together. And the Mavericks had 27 turnovers on Saturday, but that is not a turnover that is brought about by mes meshing new faces together. Just Careless. an unforced error by Sean Marion. And, and you just have to be ready to play. Somebody jumped in front of the passing lane where he wanted to go and got caught with the double dribble. Ante Tomic badly missing on a pick and pop jumper. They've already played a couple of games in league play FC Barcelona has. And Tomic is their leading scorer through two games, averaging 15 points a game. Great. They can pop J. Elton Brand. That's what you're going to see from Elton Brand. He's another solid catch and shoot guy. Mavericks run a lot of pick and rolls, so I look for him to be involved all year long in a lot of pick and rolls for Dallas. To the basket, and a miss by Joe Inglis, the Australian who averaged 15 points a game for them in the Olympics this year in London. Pete Michael commits a foul as O.J. Mayo makes his way to the basket. Minute 32 seconds gone by for the first time today. Free throws will be attempted. O.J. Mayo to shoot two. After a quiet debut as a Maverick, eight points, four assists, couple of steals on Saturday in Berlin. He played 26 minutes. The only shots that he made were three-pointers. He knocked down uh, two out of five three-pointers, only took one two-point try in the game on Saturday. Well, he's still finding his way, Mark. He and Collison both, I think, with time, will slowly start to develop into a pretty solid backcourt. You know, O.J. can get to the free throw line because he's aggressive putting the ball on the floor. The rest of it will come. Uh, again, I just think it's important for these guys not to try and do too much too fast and take care of that basketball. Because normally when you have a lot of turnovers, your guards are involved in it. We noted earlier that Dirk's out today with a sore right knee. Roddy Bobois also out for the Mavericks due to a left ankle sprain that he suffered on Saturday. They should have Brandon Wright available, though, today. Wright, his first season with Dallas last year, as a ball pinballs off the knee of Chris Kamen, and this is a two-on-one to the other end, and Joe Inglis lays it in with a foul. A quick follow-up with a point about Brandon Wright. He is out, was out Saturday due to a quad injury, but is expected to be available today. As you see, FC Barcelona get on the board in transition. Kamen fouls Joe Inglis, who made the hoop. And that's what they want to do, Barcelona, that is, Mark, get out in transition. So, again, turning the basketball over will allow them easy opportunities in transition. Joe Inglis is 25 years old from Australia, third year with FC Barcelona. He's competed twice in the Olympics for Australia. And, it, and top flight basketball in Australia, he was the rookie of the year in 2007. Really comfortable on the offensive end as you see O.J. Mayo pull up and miss that shot. Pete Michael got the rebound. And number 33 as you see Michael with the ball going into the lane and rattling it in to get FC Barcelona their first lead. Very difficult shot, but a pretty solid shot. Rock Island, Illinois, Pete Michael, 34 years old. Did play some minor league ball in the States before 
moving on to the Philippines and then spending a decade uh, overseas. Greece, Russia, Spain also played in Korea as well. Was drafted by Dallas in 2000. Pete Michael was last pick of the 2000 draft, but then was traded to the Knicks in a deal that also involved Donnell Harvey, who came over to the Mavs for a while, and uh, Eric Strickland. There you go. Ante Tomic with the foul. And Tomic's going to have a hard time trying to contain a guy like Kamen simply because he's not accustomed to being on the perimeter defending bigger guys. Kamen has that ability to stretch the floor as a big because he can shoot the ball from the outside. 78.5% of his free throws with New Orleans last year. Chris Kamen buries both of those. And Mav Seesaw back in front here with about three minutes gone by. with the score for FC Barcelona. Looks comfortable on that block. Nice, yes, move. nice turnaround basket that time by Tony. Nice cut. And to the basket, Darren Collison lays it in. That's great basketball. Dean Smith would love that backdoor cut. Collison had a very productive first half. Ten of his 14 points in the first half on Saturday against Berlin. Tomic missed the shot. And Chris came in there for the rebound. And Collison got tripped at center court. Kamen puts the ball on the floor, gets down deep against Ante Tomic and scores. Yeah, that's really versatile for a big guy to put the ball on the floor and be able to shoot that turnaround jump hook with the left hand that time. Mark. Kamen back to back baskets, or two of the last three baskets, I should say, for Dallas. 9 6 is the Mavs edge. Free throws coming up here. Foul was called on Sean Marion for Dallas. You can see Michael not really wanting to shoot the basketball, but really trying to attack the basket against Sean Marion, a pretty good defender in his own right, but not quite ready on that possession. You know, I think it says a lot about Pete Michael. There are some challenges to trying to be willing to stay with it basketball wise even though you obviously want to play at the highest level but the fact that he's carved out a nice career for himself in Europe again we're talking about someone who left college in 2000 and spent right. the better part of a dozen years playing overseas Just 12 points in tonight's game Dante Jones came in the game really gave the team a lift in transition made a couple of nice drives to the basket or a couple of nice defensive plays there you see him sacrificing his body taking that charge 42-40 again is the lead for FC Barcelona. And they have the ball as we start the third quarter. It's Mavericks preseason basketball on NBA TV and TXA 21. TXA 21 is carrying four more preseason games, and a couple will be on Fox Sports Southwest. Dallas will play six preseason games between October the 15th and October the 26th. Four at home at American Airlines Center. They also have to go to Atlanta and they have to go to Wichita, Kansas to play the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ante Tomic, the Croatian, with the basket, came in fouled, shooting two free throws. That preseason schedule I was referring to, there's the lineup on Fox Sports Southwest, the games against the Rockets on the 15th in Dallas and against the Thunder in Wichita on the 24th. And TXA 21 will be covering games on uh, the 17th, the 20th, the 22nd, and the 26th. Phoenix, Atlanta, New Orleans, and Charlotte, those four games will be on TXA 21. And, and you know, Mark, in, in watching Kamen for two games, he, he may be a little bit underrated, I think, as an offensive player. He really score the basketball. His ability to shoot the ball from the perimeter sets up his ability to put the ball on the floor and draw fouls as well. You know, as well as I know, you can get to the free throw line. You can really score a lot of points. There you see O.J. finding him with a nice little pass there inside. Yeah, nice wraparound pass by O.J. Mayo. Came and went right to the front of the basket. Smart player. He really is a very heady big. He's 5 of 10 for the floor now and 5 of 8 for the free throw line. Mayo thought he got ball but foul on OJ Mayo against Juan Carlos Navarro. 
initially beat, thought he got a hand on the ball. That hand being a part of the ball in that situation, judging by what the officials saw. Foul wise, Elton Brand has three. Vince Carter has three for Dallas. OJ Mayo just picked up his first. Juan Carlos Navarro, 32 years old. In 2010, was the European Player of the Year. Other than his one year with Memphis, his entire pro basketball career has been spent playing for FC Barcelona, starting back in 1997 when he was 17 years old. Some indecision. Now Mayo will pull the trigger and miss on a three. Well, you can't be indecisive when you get a wide open shot. If you're OJ Mayo, you have to take that shot in rhythm. Navarro back to CJ Wallace. And Wallace from the outside. Off of some nice middle, nice penetration by Navarro. 49-43, the lead for FC Barcelona. They've led by as many as eight. Dallas's biggest lead in the first quarter was seven points. The five guys on the floor right now for Dallas, the starting five for this game. Collison, Mayo, Marion, Brand, and Kamen. Brand has done a good job of filling in for the absence of dirt. Solid on both ends of the floor. Marion at nine points after that hoop last time down. Juan Carlos Navarro on the drive, leaves it for Ante Tomic. Once again, Barcelona showing the ball, getting inside, finding open people. Tomic new to FC Barcelona, played for their rival, Real Madrid, for the last three years. A rebound for Navarro. Barcelona can push the lead back to eight or potentially nine. Marcelino behind the back. Wallace has hit a three from there a moment ago, but missed that one. This will be Dallas ball. Mavs got a double-double out of Sean Marion the other day. 12 points and 11 rebounds in the first preseason game, and Kamen is flirting with that. Nine boards to go with 15 points today for Chris Kamen. The only player for Dallas double-digit scoring-wise, although Marion's knocking on the door with nine. So is Elton Brand. A basket here would put him at ten, <laughs> but he missed. A little over three minutes played in the third quarter. Marcelino. Tomich at 7-2 was able to make himself a big enough target to catch that pass, but then it was poked away by Dallas. You know, as a big, you need the strength, Mark, to handle that pass. Good hand by Collison. To handle that pass in traffic is a difficult thing for Tomich. Ante Tomich was drafted by the Utah Jazz. They own his rights. 44th pick in 2008. Marion the rebound of the offside after C.J. Wallace missed. Didn't see a ton of Wallace in the first half, but he's making his presence felt with a lot of shots here in the third quarter for Barcelona. Off the turnover, Pete Michael. Rick Dime not out. happy with that. Nope. Turning the basketball Eight over. Been a nemesis for the Mavericks for two games. Which is going to allow Barcelona to get out in transition for easy baskets like this for Michael. Barcelona over Dallas, 8.22 left in the third quarter. Dirk sitting out today in this preseason game, by the way. Just a touch of swelling in his right knee after practice yesterday. Keep calling all kids to show up for the true MFFL spirit. You can sign up for the Mavs Kids Club and be the first of your friends to know about full promotions. Like how to become a kid reporter. Visit Mavs.com for more details. After playing Saturday in Berlin, the Mavs went to Barcelona on Sunday. They were there in time to see the uh, FC Barcelona Real Madrid El Clasico soccer game. You saw some of the pictures here for the trip out the plane as they were getting ready to land in Barcelona. Dirk and Chris Kamen in the plane. 
back in Berlin. That picture Saturday morning in front of the Brandenburg Gate in yes, Berlin. Sir. Beautiful. Vince Carter is in. A kick ball. Carter went in, came into the bench. Haven't seen Bernard James today. We did see him on Saturday. We saw Jared Cunningham, the first round draft pick. Have yet to see him play in a preseason. Darren Collison inside the three point arc. Collison connects on that jump shot. He's a better shooter than he gets credit for as well. Rotation looks pretty good on that jump shot. Navarro launches a three. Clangs off the iron and out. See where Dallas is going to go offensively here. Been a little bit inconsistent in where they want to go. Collison uses a screen, drives, and the runner oh, banks oh. home. It's a nice drive there. Back to back baskets for him. I think he really understands Mark when to try to get other people involved and when to sort of look for his own offense. He has the ability to score the basketball when he's being aggressive. Another kick ball. Shot clock will reset to 14. Collison has triggered. Dallas slicing the lead in half. They were down by eight at the timeout, but back to back hoops by Collison have made this a four point game. Pete Michael on the dribble, spins to the paint. Only three to shoot. Offensive rebound. Put back attempt was missed by CJ Wallace. And the Mavs can continue to build a run here. They would love to see O.J. Mayo make something happen, but with that miss of the paint, Mayo is now 0 for 5. I think part of that is the kind of shots that he's getting. If you watch that shot, it was a challenge shot in the lane over the bigs. Yeah, I would say of the new additions, he's looked more out of sorts than any one of them in these first two preseason games. I'm going to continue to use the word mesh together and also mark a work in progress is what I'm going to say O.J. Mayo is right now. Trying to get comfortable in a new system is the he, easiest thing to do. He hustles there, dives on the floor to get a loose ball, and as a result, Marion gets a shot in the paint that won't go. But Carter with a hustle play to get the ball back for Dallas with the offensive rebound. Collison's baseline jumper is no good. Marion misses on a putback. Multiple opportunities, Dallas doesn't cash in. Easy opportunities. Navarro centered the break. Got the ball back for Marcelino and finds Pete Michael. That's 13 to lead FC Barcelona, Pete Michael. Elton Brand. Michael had a big game against the Lakers. Scored 26 points when Barcelona defeated the Lakers almost two years ago to the day at Palau San Jordi. 92-88, Barcelona won that preseason game. Well, Michael can score. That, that, that's what he is, Mark, is a very aggressive offensive player that can put it on the floor, shoot it up at a pretty high rate, 18 feet and in. A drive by O.J. Mayo in the paint. Tough still, shot. Man, still doesn't have a made basket. Has only one point today on a free throw. He's still starting to press a little bit as well. 0 for 6 from the floor. Navarro, a quick trigger three. And C.J. Wallace just takes that rebound back from Dallas. Timeout call here by Rick Carlisle. I believe this will be a 20. I don't care where the game is, if it's preseason, if it's in Europe, if Dirk is or isn't playing. I think there's some things that are happening right now that's all part of the process about getting honed in and getting ready to play that Rick Carlisle isn't seeing, hence that's why he's taking this time out. Well, there's no doubt about that, Mark. And in two games, Dallas has not been efficient as a basketball team on either end of the floor. We talked about the 27 turnovers that they had against Berlin a couple of nights ago. Here you go tonight. Again, the offensive rebounding and the turnovers really hampering Dallas and keeping them out of position to win this game. And what they're trying to do is, as we have said, mesh together. We'll see the new additions. You've got three draft picks and a camp invitee and a Koyan at the top of the list. And then five players who have experience in the league, including 
Chris Kamen and Elton Brand, both 30-plus. Dante Jones, 31 years old as well. Collison has three years in the NBA. O.J. Mayo has played four years. The returning cast, Dirk, Delonte West, The Matrix, Vince Carter, Roddy Bobois, Dominic Jones, and Brandon Wright. So that's the roster makeup. 16 players you saw on the list. Josh Okoyan is on a non-guaranteed training camp invite, though. So at least at this stage of the game, he's the odds-on favorite to be the one guy left off the roster. A lot of experience on that roster, in spite of having a couple of new guys. There are a lot of guys on that roster that's been around and should understand the importance as Elton Brand knocks down that jump shot, understands the, understand the importance of playing hard all the time, Mark. And surely the jet lag sets in, all of those different things that we've talked about. But effort, there has to be a premium on effort when you're trying to uh, find the right continuity as a, as a new team. Navarro missed an open shot after a scramble for a loose ball. And Navarro has it back. Another offensive rebound. He looks for Nathan Jawai rolling to the basket. Last line of defense, nowhere to be found that time. Another 10 point Barcelona lead. Delonte West checked in a moment ago. OJ Mayo went out of the game, by the way, for Dallas. West subbed in. Brand underneath. Collison tried a little sell a foul. Bounce pass Elton Brand late in the shot clock. Kept alive by Sean Marion, but ultimately controlled by Nathan Jawai. And you could see in that possession, Dallas not really sure where they want to go offensively. A lot of dribbling, a lot of standing, making them very easy to guard. Navarro heaving a three and buries it. Now you're facing a very confident Barcelona team now. With Dirk being out, this team feeling themselves a little bit. Crowds into it, crowds into it, them feeling a lot. A lot of confidence as the players. Navarro knocks down that three to put him up 13. Juan Carlos Navarro has made three threes today. He goes over the double-digit plateau now with 11 points. Pete Michael leads Barcelona with 13 as they do the win. Quite a display by Barcelona here in the third quarter. They have opened up a 13-point lead. Juan Carlos Navarro burying a three before Rick Carlisle calls Dallas's third timeout of the third quarter. Barca up 64-51 as we check the BBVA Compass game summary. Chris Kamen leads Dallas. He has 15 points, nine rebounds, one block, five of ten for the floor, five of eight from the line, and nine minutes played. And his offensive showing has been a bright spot in what has otherwise been a subpar performance by Dallas. Well, the energy is not there. Cayman has been a bright spot, Mark, especially on the offensive end of the floor. Scored in a lot of different ways. Vince Carter, nil. Marco Todorovic, youngster from Montenegro, with the rebound for Barcelona. Beat Michael. Michael with a runner that bounces in, and the lead is 15. And if you look at Barcelona, they seem to have more continuity and know what they want to do and where they want to go on the offensive end. And as a result, they're getting better possessions at this point in the game. And moving. Carter misses a money right there. Yeah, moving to the basket, Carter missed. Dominic Jones is on the floor. Brandon Wright is in for Dallas. Leaner off the glass, good for Marcelino. A tough shot. This is nine straight for FC Barcelona. They lead 68-51. Well, their confidence has grown quite a bit right now throughout this game, throughout this third quarter. Yeah, through the roof. Nine-point run ends for Barcelona when Dominic Jones floats one in. Big deal for them, for Barcelona, anytime they face a NBA opponent. You know, they've won their last two preseason games against NBA teams in Barcelona. Right. As we noted earlier, the Lakers in 2010, Philadelphia in 2006. Big block there by Nathan July. So there's obviously an, a sense of pride in terms of playing these NBA Europe Live preseason games. Here's the games that I'm referring to. The other thing is for Barcelona is that uh, I'm sure they wanted to play well today because this team has high expectations and they've started out their own league play 
at 0 and 2. So I'm sure that there was motivation to play well today because of that. Absolutely, Mark, and been one of the better teams in in, in Spain. Of course, in Spain, yeah. period. When you look at what they've been able to to do as far as winning championships is concerned, and again, I'm going to stick to my guns on who they're playing. They're playing an NBA opponent, and you're always going to get up if you're a European team against the uh, the NBA teams. And a guy who made his living in the NBA for a couple of years is going to the free throw line now. Sarunas Yasakavishis. Yasakavishis went to college at Maryland, of course, from Lithuania. 36 years old. Very crafty 36-year-old. Oh, man. Plays with a lot of savvy on the floor. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He's Fundamentally sound, shoots the ball well, Good leader. given the opportunity, can definitely run a team. Vince Carter out. Looks like we're set to see the Maverick debut of Jared Cunningham. Cunningham, the 24th pick last summer, officially taken by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then his draft rights that night were traded, traded. to Dallas. Yep. Had a solid college career. Solid defender. He used to work on his outside shot a little bit. There he is, number one. Talking to uh, some of the assistant coaches. He was the 24th pick, Cunningham, in 2012. 18 points a game last year at Oregon State in his junior season. Hart mentioned his defensive ability. He was fifth in steals in the NCAA as a sophomore at 2.8 per game and ninth in steals in college basketball last year. So two years running in the top 10 in college basketball in steals. July with a foul. That was a nice attack by Dominique Jones. Something he's able to do here. You see him just nice explosion to the basket drawing the foul. That beats Javi Rebasada. Dominique has a good first step. This is where he needs work, shooting the basketball, whether it's free throws or around the perimeter. He's gonna, if he's gonna have a long career in this league, he's gonna have to improve his outside shot. About to turn 24 years old next Monday. In the summer league, he shot 45 and a half percent from the floor. Went three of 11 on threes. Average 16.4 points a game at five games out in Las Vegas for Dallas in the summer league. Tends to play well in the summer league when he, when he gets the opportunity out there. Now the question is, can he take the next step? Take it to the real floor. That's what it, it's always the challenge. Nathan July is fouled. Jones committing a foul. Yes, a Cavishus to July. And the defense just a little bit late. Not, not. He didn't sink quick enough where he could draw that foul and had to reach in and got called for the foul. Jawai on the free throw line. Seven points off the bench today for Nathan Jawai. And a plus nine in his time on the floor. Ladies, you can visit Mavs.com and sign up today for the Hoops and Heels Club presented by State Farm. We've got something for every Lady Mavs fan from special sales or nights out with the girls. Visit Mavs.com for more information. This has been a third quarter for Dallas has just been buried. FC Barcelona has outscored the Mavericks 30 to 14 in the third quarter and opened up a 72-54 lead. And really been the aggressor on both ends of the floor, Mark. Everything coming difficult for Dallas as Delonte West finally gets one to go from the perimeter. Yes, the Cavishes pushes up the shot. Then Brandon Wright and Cunningham end up coughing up an outlet pass. Right back to FC Barcelona as Xavi Rabaseta drives. Nathan Jawai. Big body got the ball back. Second Mar shot. Yeah, Mario Hazonia missed from the perimeter. And right away you think about being fatigued, 
and balls are bouncing around and you can't come up with them. You're being out hustled is what, what, what that's called. Two seconds differential. And pick and roll, easy. Slam dunk. Yes, a cabbage just to Nathan Jawad. Too easy. Back to an 18 point lead for FC Barcelona. And Jared Cunningham hits the floor. Tied up by Xavi Rabaseda. Cunningham again did not play Saturday in Berlin. Getting on the floor for the first time here late in the third quarter. Born in Oakland, 21 years old. High school in San Leandro, California. It's going to be tough for him to get on the floor, though, with all of the guards that the Mavericks have. And all of the combo guards. Combo guards, yeah, guys. Twos, yep. Absolutely. Cunningham taps the jump ball to Brandon Wright. And Wright misses the jumper at the end of the third quarter. Well, I'm sure there have been parts of this Europe trip that have been great fun for Dallas, and I'm surely parts of the trip to Barcelona have been last week in Berlin. Just a couple of, yeah. But Carlisle looking on, wonder what he's thinking and what he will be taking. No, I, I don't wonder that. <laughs> he's not going to be happy about either of these games. And mainly because of the, the, the turnovers and the lack of rebounding by his team. Those two things you have to do if you're going to be successful in this league. Even though there has been a significant drop in turnovers from Saturday to today, 27 to 12, something just still has seemed off kilter. Case in point right there. They do come up with the ball, but it's it's a, it's a step slow. It's giving up an offensive rebound, and and, and we discussed it on Saturday. Yes. That these are this with, with new faces. This is not the most conducive atmosphere to try to get everything headed in the right direction and started with the preseason. But that's what you still have another three weeks of training. Right, and everything is a work in progress for this Maverick team. There's no question about that. Adding, I think, eight new guys on your roster once everything is said and done. But still, I, I, when you start talking turnovers, this is the kind of turnovers I think that drives coaches crazy. You talked earlier about them not being forced turnovers, but unforced turnovers, which means that you're being very careless with the basketball and not quite ready to play when the uh, when the ball is tossed up. 37% shooting for Dallas in this game. There's the turnover numbers. 12 for the Mavs and 9 for FC Barcelona. So that's an average of what? Four quarters? Yeah. Not good. Cunningham missed the first of two free throws. And things are not going to look nearly as much in sync on offense when you don't have the settling presence. Yes, the anchor of, of 41 out there. Delonte West converts. Let's face it, Dirk simply gives you somewhere to go with, with your offense when he's on the floor. You can run everything through him and get nice possessions. When he's not out there, you have Chris Kamen, but as Delonte makes a nice defensive play there. Yeah, the steal and score. A couple of baskets for Delonte West off turnovers. It's good to see the energy pick up for Dallas. 74-61, the Barcelona lead here early on in the fourth. Mavericks preseason basketball on NBA TV at TXA 21. Mazzonia. Pirouettes as he gets the ball back. Yes, to Cavishus. Nathan Jawai on the putback. Talk about Jawai. His ability to take up space out there. Did a nice job that time of attacking the ball on the offensive glass. Not just eating up space, devouring space <laughs> in the lane as Cunningham buries a three for the corner. Triple for Jared Cunningham. 12 points is the advantage for Barcelona. It's amazing when you go to that bench how the energy tends to pick up because you have guys over on the bench anxious to get out there and try to make something positive happen, prove themselves as players. Delonte West leads Dallas up the floor off the miss by Barcelona. 
Kamen bites Brandon Wright and right to the free throw line. Oh, nice find by Kamen. Wright averaged seven points a game last season for the Mavs. And he easily bettered his previous career high in games in the season. Wright played 49 games last year after playing 39 games for his previous career high. And also played almost 800 minutes last year. His previous best in the season was 688. We'll see Wright shooting free throws when we come back. A timeout is called here by FC Barcelona. Day West has helped Dallas trim an 18-point Barcelona lead at one point down to 12 with just over 10 minutes remaining in this second and final preseason game for the Mavericks in Europe. You know, an academic all-star joined closer with the Mavs in honoring students who have either excelled or improved their grades this year. Visit Mavs.com to nominate your all-star today and make them part of the serve academic all-stars. The lead is 12 as we speak, but Brandon Wright has an opportunity cut it to 10 with a pair of free throws. He shot 63% on his foul shots last year. Season numbers last season, seven points. The 1.3 blocks he averaged in 16 minutes a game, so his block per minute numbers ended up placing him sixth best in the NBA. Really gave Dallas a presence on the inside last year. His, his athletic ability, his ability to finish around the basket, Led the Mavericks in dunks, had 57 dunks last Absolutely. year. Absolutely. I think it really paid dividends to have an active, athletic guy around the basket that could actually finish around the basket. His slight frame and lack of outside shooting ability still limit him, but no question that for the first time in his career last year, he carved out a role for himself. He, yes. He, you know, earned minutes last year, no he question. definitely earned minutes, and I thought was a good compliment for Dallas to bring off the bench. I think you were about to say disappeared you know, the in the playoffs. He struggled a little bit against Oklahoma. Rick elected not to use him as much because I think it was all new to him. I think he was getting ready to play opposed to being ready to play because come playoff time, you can't be getting ready to play. You have to be ready to play. And he was just a step slow and a little indecisive in that Oklahoma series that Dallas lost. Oklahoma City, that is. Ten point lead. Wright just made free throws. Dallas has chewed up about half of that 18 point Barcelona edge. Afrinas missed a three. Technical foul. Delonte West. Wallace well, not happy about something. Talking with Joe Inglis, his teammate there, number 20. Wallace is from Atlanta. Went to school at Princeton. He's played overseas in Italy and Germany in addition to now his second year with FC Barcelona. It was accidental contact is what I think. That's two technicals today for Dallas. Dante Jones got one. Exchanged some words with someone in the second quarter. Take a look here. Yeah. Just a hard foul by Delonte, and then he went back after the loose ball and again accidentally hit Wallace in the face, which doesn't make him feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose or accident, he's <laughs> yeah, not going to yeah. feel any better about it. I could be happy for it. Ricky electing to pull Delonte out. Had a shooting foul as well in all of that. Well, that can't be too bad. Vince Carter was laughing well, about yeah, it. He'll bench. be okay. You don't want to wake the hot sauce up, though. <laughs> He's having fun with it. One of the tougher players in this league, though. You better believe that. Another look at the play in question. <laughs> and Zach Zarber right there hitting, hitting him with the tee. Darren Collison's gone back in. Dominic Jones with a drive, gets inside. Can't finish, though, against Tomich. But Jones with a rebound of his own miss and goes back up to score. Mavs playing a lot harder right now. A pretty 
blah third quarter, but no question, harder play here in the fourth quarter. So picking up the intensity. Yeah, they had uh, Marcelino trapped with two defenders and right there against the sideline and the mid-court line. I think that's what helped Dallas to get back in this game, Mark, is the fact that they've got, gone into a little trap, which has allowed them to get steals like this particular play here, easy basket. Here you see Delonte again making another nice defensive play. And when you're down, the best way to get yourself back in it is to change the whole concept of the game. Pick up a little bit. Energy goes up. Good oh. pass by Dominique Jones that time, finding Cunningham. And Cunningham explodes up the baseline. Cunningham has just ferocious hops. Check YouTube while playing for Oregon State against Arizona a couple of years ago. He had uh, the dunk of the year in the then Pac-10. Yes, a beautiful pass, fantastic pass by uh, Dominique Jones that time. Jared Cunningham back on the free throw line. Just one of three in his free throw attempts in the five minutes that he's played here in the second half. Shot 74% on free throws in his junior season, his last year at Oregon State last year. Had a fantastic uh, college career, Mark. And with young guys, you always wonder if what they do in college is going to translate into something good in the NBA. So, jury's still out. It looks pretty good. All Pac-12 first team last year. Jared Cunningham, coached by President Obama's brother-in-law, Craig Robinson, Oregon State. This has forced Barcelona to speed up a little bit, forcing them to rush their offense a little. Dominic Jones, John Cunningham, baseline jumper miss. And this isn't the best lineup that Barcelona can put on the floor. They've got a couple of young guys out there. Wallace isn't a guy who plays heavy minutes in the rotation. Alex right. Abrinas is a 19-year-old. They do have Tomic and Inglis out there. Mm -hmm. And there is the aforementioned Croatian 7-2 Ante Tomic, short on the J. Some things starting to come from the outside for them. Dominic Jones in the lane, missed it, hustling after a ball that was tipped out by Dallas. If you're Dominique Jones, being sort of the veteran guy in the backcourt right now, this is when you want to try and control the game on the offensive end. You want, even though Collison is out there, you want to get quality possessions because you're trying to get yourself back in the game. There he is with a steal. They trapped Marcelino. He threw the ball away. And Dominic Jones and Darren Collison has made it a seven-point game. You like what they're doing right now with their energy, picking up full court. down seven points right now. There's another steal. Almost. Barcelona led by 18 at the end of the third quarter. Marcelino with that herky-jerky drive gets fouled. He forces you to foul him in a lot of situations. Jones on the foul. It's a, not a comparison of abilities, just a comparison in similarity of movement. But I see the way Marcelino drives and think, <laughs> I think Ginobili. Yes, sir. <laughs> Arms frailing all over the place. You don't think Coach Carlisle wants to win this game? He's going back with his guys right now. Brandon Wright taking a seat, Vince Carter coming in, along with O.J. Mayo. So there's something to wanting to win this one. Dominic Jones did give Dallas a lift, though. Absolutely. And Jerry Cunningham runs the floor, got out in front, and jams it home. A two-hand flush for Jerry Cunningham. And after the free throws by Marcelino, back to a seven-point game. That's a good push. Cunningham seven points. More free throws coming up though. A lot of free throws in this game now. 
This will be 28 free throw attempts for Barcelona after these two for C.J. Wallace. Dallas is at 25 free throw attempts. There you see O.J. Mail just outsized on that possession. Twenty of twenty-seven for Barcelona now at the line after that miss. Came it out. Milton Brand returns. High minute player for Dallas today. Darren Collison, 28. Elton Brand is at 27 as he comes back in. Came at his play, 26 minutes. One of two at the line. Wallace, eight point game. Brand short on a pick and pop. Jay, six point game. Or could have made it a six point game. It's a tough shot for Elton Brand just re entering the game. Brand on the block, the defender against Ante Tomic. Raid to the free throw line. Here's Tomich working against Brand. A little small hook there. Officials called the foul first. Ante Tomich on the line. Tomich with eight points. And he leads Barcelona amongst their starters anyway with seven rebounds. The overall leading rebounder today for FC Barcelona is CJ Wallace with 10. And also eight points today from C.J. Wallace. Tomic is 25 years old, from Croatia. Seven foot two. Nice looking for him on the free throws for Tomic. Has 10 points now, and then and one here, Vince Carter. <laughs> what a veteran move by Vince Carter. Attacking the basket, initiating the contact, drawing the foul for an and one opportunity. Natural scores. Really comfortable making plays like that. Carter to complete the three-point play. Been a tough day for Dallas at the line. They are 15 of 26 with that miss. Unlike Dallas from the free throw line. The edge is eight with six minutes remaining. Down low, Wallace. Outside of Juan Carlos Navarro, and he has his pocket picked by Darren Collison and then got fouled. Solid defense by Collison. Using his feet and using his hands. Here you see him cutting off the drive, gets a hand in. Off to the races from there. That's the eighth steal as a team today for Dallas. Collison has two. Dominic Jones leads the way for the Mavericks in Barcelona. Palau San Jordi and his uh, this uh, NBA Live Europe 2012 tour. Mavericks played in Reed Alba Berlin on Saturday. They come back home tomorrow, and then preseason play continues next week, starting Monday the 15th. There will be six games played in 12 days. The Rockets are at American Airlines Center next Monday. That game with the game against the Thunder in Wichita, Kansas, will be on Fox Sports Southwest. And then four games in the Metroplex on TXA 21 against the Suns, Hawks, Hornets, and Bobcats. 12 days, six games to round out the preseason. And then the regular season will start against the LA Lakers coming up on October the 30th, part of the NBA's opening night. We get to call all of them. Looking forward to it. Yes, Although not that one. We'll be giving way to <laughs> we'll be giving way to TNT that night. Okay. Our first broadcast for the regular season will be against the Utah Jazz on Halloween night uh, in Salt Lake City at Energy Solutions Arena. Uh, from the Laker aspect of things by the way I read today where Dwight Howard has been cleared for uh, five on five contact activity slowly getting ready maybe ready for the start of the season although Jordan Hill who who uh, carved out a role for himself as a backup big after getting traded there last year yes. has a herniated disc so he's on the shelf for a while what I understand even more reason for Dwight Howard to try and get back Darren Collison, two free throws. Now we're still in that trap. 
They turned an 18-point Barcelona lead at its largest it's to called, six. It's called Barcelona some problems. Wallace shot fakes, drives, finds Pete Michael late in the clock. Hits a corner, oh, jump shot. Wrong guy to give an open shot to. That's 17 for him. It's been consistent. Lead Barcelona in scoring, Hart, with the 17 that you noted. Yep. Lead back to eight. A drive by Vince Carter. And Carter loses it out of bounds. Tweaked his ankle up to Tad. A sprained left ankle has Roddy on the shelf. But Bois is out today after hurting it in the second half against uh, Berlin on Saturday. There's a look at Vince trying to get around Tony. Comes down a little awkward on that left ankle. Still grimacing a little. Not sure if it's the ankle or a knee. He's holding his knee when he went to yeah, the floor. Exactly right. And Still holding it. Is it is there, yeah. Wanted to be landed awkwardly. That's what it looked like. Five minutes to go. Dallas has really extended their defense out on the perimeter. Juan Carlos Navarro went to Marcelino. Skid pass. Goes out by O.J. Mayo, and that results in a shot clock violation. Good defensive possession for Dallas. Shot clock violation or an ambulance is loose in the building, one or the other. <laughs> it's a violation. It sounds like an ambulance, though. So. On the run, Mayo missed off the glass. O.J. Mayo now 0 for 7 with that miss. Tough, tough night shooting. Michael runs the floor down the lane off that beat from Monte Tomic. He's been the most active player on the floor, Michael, that is. And Pete Michael now 8 for 11. Nice pass from Tomic over to Michael. He finishes strong with the opposite hand. That's a game high 19 points now for the former Cincinnati Bearcat from Rock Island, Illinois, Pete Michael. And he's given Barcelona back to back hoops by Pete Michael have extended Barcelona's lead back to 10 at 87 77. Mark Follow Will, Derek Harper, it's mass preseason basketball on NBA TV and DXA 21. If you're just tuning in, Dirk Nowitzki sore right knee swelled up a little bit after practice yesterday, and Rodrigue Beauvoir sprained left ankle that he sustained in the third quarter Saturday playing in Berlin. He left the arena 0 2 world. This Josh Akoyan hitting a three. We'll get to him in a moment. He left the arena in a walking boot, but Vaughn did on Saturday, uh, but was out of the boot by the time practice rolled around on a Monday. Every team that, that started the preseason, one of the things they're trying to do is avoid injury. It's part of the game, but you want to be fortunate, not unfortunate, when it comes to uh, your main core guys being injured. Runner by Juan Carlos Navarro, lead back to nine. Josh Akoyan. Non-guaranteed contract training camp invitation. 5'11 from Cal State Fullerton. Can fill it up. We saw a couple of practices where he really just shot the leather off the ball. Jared Cunningham to Vince Carter. Carter draws a foul, shoots two, 3.36 to go. To follow up on your point about Josh Akoyan, 24 points a game as a senior at Cal State Fullerton. Single season Fullerton points record. Not a, fast. Yeah, had a 19 point per game effort with Sacramento in the summer league this past summer, and that I think helped put him on Dallas's radar. Well, not bashful at all either. When you check into the game and immediately you get a, a shot up. That you, wasted any time. <laughs> Coach Carlisle had to force his guys to guard this guy in one of the practices that we saw last week. He made the reference that in case you guys didn't realize, this guy can really shoot after he had made about three or four straight. Average 28 points per game in two years played in China. Played a year in Estonia as well. I don't care where you're playing, you can average 28, Mark. Yes, you sir. can score the basketball. 89-81 <laughs> after Vince Carter went one of two at the line. 
Marcelino slings it to Ante Tomic. Navarro finds Wallace. Missed three. Elton Brand the rebound. The lineup is Akoyan, Darren Collison, Jared Cunningham, Vince Carter, and Elton Brand. And Collison drills it. Six point game with 3.05 remaining. Nice looking stroke by Collison. Good decision. Take what the defense gives you. 14 points for the second consecutive game for Darren Collison. Wallace, Ante Tomic, two free throws coming up. 250 left with Tomic on the free throw line. 10 points, eight boards today for Tomic. Good pass from Pete Michael, or from yes. Wallace, from Pete Michael into Tomic. They do a good job of moving the, moving the basketball, the bigs especially. There you see Tomic getting fouled. Most European bigs can really shoot and pass the basketball. No doubt. That's where their value is. Elton Brand just called for his fifth foul. And when you're trying to get back, last thing you want to do is foul and stop that clock. Put the opposing team on the free throw line. Another free throw here for Tomic. Ninety-one, eighty-three, Barcelona. Collison pulled the string on the jump shot. Marcelino picked up by Jared Cunningham. And they're going to use the clock right now as a teammate. Milk that clock. Trap it out of Marcelino's hands. Vince Carter was in a passing lane. He got a tiny deflection. Maybe an offensive foul here. Yeah, Pete Michael, offensive foul. Vince Carter last season was the Mavericks leader in charges drawn. And Carter draws that offensive foul here and against somewhat, Pete Michael. Somewhat underrated as a defender. Here you see Vince using his feet really well, getting in front of Michaels. Drawing that charge. Opponents only shot 32% last year against Carter as he fires a three off the iron, no good. Offensive minded guys that scored a lot of points like Vince Carter has, they don't have a rep as a defender. But Vince Carter does a good job of the team concept of defense. In the lane. Tomic did not exploit a size advantage that he had, but it works out with a one Carlos Navarro three. The timing of what Navarro has been able to do has really helped this Barcelona team. No doubt. Juan Carlos Navarro, that is four from downtown today for Navarro. With Navarro now at 16 points. And he has lifted Barcelona back to a double digit lead over the Mavericks. And his preseason game from Paul. You see the ball movement there by Barcelona. 94-83 as a result of that good ball movement that ends up in the corner three by Juan Carlos Navarro. And as uh, you accurately said earlier, Harv, the timing of what he's been able to do has been very, very important today for FC Barcelona. Four threes at a 16-point effort. Well, Dallas gave him what his strength is, and that's catch and shoot. Defense not rotating to Navarro, and he's done an excellent job in a timely matter of stepping up, knocking down that perimeter three. Jay Crowder back in. Haven't seen him a whole lot today. Dominic Jones has returned. This will be a third straight opportunity as Brandon Wright with a rim rattle and dunk. Third straight situation where uh, FC Barcelona defeats an NBA team on their home floor in preseason play. It happened again against the Lakers in 2010 and against the 76ers in 2006. They play well tonight. Navarro with another one. Killing it now. Well, it was Michael and Navarro that led the way in the win against the Lakers two years ago. Michael had 26 and Navarro had 25. And now both of those guys have 19 points apiece. 
five threes made today by Navarro and Pete Michael has gone eight of 11 from the floor as Barcelona will end up getting a comfortable win against Dallas in this preseason contest. He's talking about efficient. Both of those guys very efficient. A law then turned over. Cunningham ended up dribbling it on the end line. 44 seconds to go. The Mavs commit their 13th turnover of the game. I'd like to see Delon Dominique Jones make the simple play on that particular transition. Long rebound tipped out to Brandon Wright. This has not been a very good day for Dallas on the glass. They are out being out rebounded as we speak, 50 to 40 by Barcelona. And of Coach Carlisle's concerned coming into this game. He yep. talked about it. A refueling stop, I understand, in Maine. And then uh, back into Dallas sometime tomorrow night, a little bit after sundown. 7.30-ish. That's what Martin really had. Very good. Practice on Thursday. There's uh, an event for the fans here in Dallas at American Airlines Center Saturday afternoon, Mavs Toberfest. And then uh, back on the floor for preseason games, like, as we noted earlier, six and 12 days starting on October the 15th. The Houston Rockets will be at American Airlines Center. And we'll have all the rest of the preseason action on TXA 21 or Fox Sports Southwest. And uh, like everyone else, anxious to see what occurs over the remainder of the preseason because I don't think that there is any question Rick Carlisle knows it and the team knows it that there is work to be done to be prepared for the games when they count starting October 3rd. Well, this this team is a work in progress, Mark. We said it after the, the game in Berlin. I think clearly if you watch tonight's game, you have to say the same thing. That the team just hadn't found the continuity that they need to, to be ready for a regular season. You alluded to uh, more practice time. I think this team needs practice, practice, and more practice to try and find a, uh, a better rhythm as a team. Leading three missed by Jerry Cunningham, but the final score is FC Barcelona 99, Dallas 85. NBA teams end up going six and two against EuroLeague teams here in this preseason, with the Celtics dropping one to Fenerbahce in Turkey last Friday, and Dallas losing today to FC Barcelona. Well, we thanks, thank our audience on NBA TV around the country and on TXA 21 here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There will be a replay of the broadcast at 10.30 p.m. in Dallas-Fort Worth on TXA 21. As Barcelona defeats Dallas by a final score of 99-85. Next preseason game will be Monday, October the 15th against the Houston Rockets. That broadcast will be at 7.30 Central Time on Fox Sports.